Hey, what's up, Wing Chun and martial arts fans? It's Wing Chun Kid here. I got my good friend here, Larry Glavosky, here today. He's hey. a hey, what's up? So he's an army veteran and a uh, eight-year uh, experience in bouncing. In I used to work at some of the Asian gang bars, and, and um, I've been stabbed, shot, and some of my compadres have been shot and stabbed in, in an hospital. Uh, I was one of the first doormen to wear a bulletproof vest to work because <laughs> where I was working. Uh, I didn't uh, really want to get shot and die there on the site. Okay, so definitely a lot of real-world experience with violence and with gangs and um, shootings and stabbings. He's got the scars to prove it. All right, so let's get on with this video. Hey, what's up? It's Wing Chun Kid on the Wing Chun Kid channel where martial arts is the way of life. And today, we're going to show you the top 10 Wing Chun and Kung Fu moves. The first one will be beauty. <laughs> Okay, so we just had an accident here. He's got glasses on, even with the protection, and he's got uh, a little cut there. So, so I recommend don't wear glasses when you're using the uh, eye goggles. All right, all right, finger jab or buji, very useful in self-defense. Boom. Okay, you want to be quick, and you want to use your full extension. So it helps to rotate your entire body, so you get the full extension of your hand, so you get the maximum reach. Okay, if you, especially if you're shorter or you're uh, not as big then you need to use your full extension against his, uh, his long arms, right? Um, see, here's a punch, here's a full extension, but with my fingers out, I can actually reach him, he can't reach me. Right? If you had a fist, right? You had a fist, like this, and I have my fingers, I can easily reach you with my fingers without being touched by his fist. So why do we use this? It's got extra distance, okay? Another reason you use it is it distracts and it covers their eyes, all right? If you punch somebody, they're actually less likely to flinch than if you open your hand and put it in their face okay this actually makes them flinch more than a punch it's just brain science i don't know why but that's just what happens so when you use the finger jab in the form is like one two three right and then like that and then they leave it out here this is stupid you don't want to leave out your finger jab in the form it teaches you how to get the proper structure but you don't want to go and just leave it there it's stupid okay strike a pose right you want to use it as a jab what's a jab you need to use speed okay Okay, speed. Boom, 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 boom. Okay? When you have this flicking in your face, in reality, I'm gonna hit him, right? But, just for training, I'm just gonna put it here. But see, I didn't even touch him, and his hands are going up trying to protect it, right? So, in reality, boom, this is going much harder. Boom, boom, boom. Okay? And then I'm gonna go for the balls. Yeah. Alright? So, while you always use your open hand, like I said, it gets his attention up here. It makes him flinch. Like that. That's just a natural response for the brain. Um, even in uh, uh, police footage you watch on YouTube, right? Somebody gets attacked by surprise. Boom! This is a natural reaction. Doesn't matter how much training you have. 20 years of martial arts training doesn't matter. You get attacked. Boom! This is what happens. So use that, right? Use that. Boom! Boom! Use that reaction. And then once he, once he puts his hands up to block his, block the, your your finger jab and go for the ball. All right. So that's one way of using finger jab. Very practical and very useful. Hey, thanks for watching my video, my top 10 Wing Chun and Kung Fu moves. Some of these moves are not traditional Wing Chun. They're based on Wing Chun principles. And a lot of them are from other Kung Fu styles. So what I've done is just collaborated all of them together and giving you the top 10 of my favorite moves that you can learn uh, right away. It's not too difficult to learn these moves and they're also practical for real self-defense. Okay, so I hope you like this video. Thanks, Larry, for helping me out. Yeah, thanks, I appreciate uh, letting you help out. Okay, awesome. So if you're new to this channel, make sure you click the subscribe button and also check out some other lessons here on this channel. All right, so we see you in the next lesson.